Question number 10, David Seymour. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises and reads as follows. Uh, what has been the return on equity for Landcorp over the past three years? What is? Is there a minister going to answer this question? Wake up. Order. Missing. Quest missing. Order. Can I order the Honourable Bill English? Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. Mr Speaker, there are a number of ways to measure Landcorp's performance. Return on equity, excluding non-cash fair value adjustments, averaged 0.9 per cent over the last three years. Supplementary question, David Seymour. How much lower is that return than the government's cost of borrowing uh, at 2.25 per cent for government bonds? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, it's significantly lower than the government's uh, cost of borrowing uh, when you look at the straight return on equity. Uh, another, another measure, the total shareholder return, which takes into account essentially inflation and land values, uh, shows that uh, Landcorp has averaged 4.6 per cent over the last five years. So if you take into account the increase in the value of its assets, which may or may not be sustainable, uh, it has a return slightly higher than the cost of debt. A supplementary question, David Seymour. Uh, how much lower is even that return uh, than the government's return from the New Zealand superannuation funds over the last three years at 12.25 per cent per annum? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, if the, if the member's making the point that uh, Landcorp, with a value of well over a billion dollars, is making low returns, uh, they're certainly lower than the New Zealand super fund returns have been and likely to drop. Uh, Landcorp's one of New Zealand's largest dairy farmers, uh, and as dairy prices have dropped considerably in the last uh, 12 months or so, we'd expect Landcorp probably going to make negative returns for at least, in at least the next year. Uh, the New Zealand Super Fund may also be heading towards making negative returns. Its high return figures quoted here have been based on increase in asset values. Uh, they have extensive investment in world uh, stock markets, and those stock markets haven't been doing so well since the beginning of this year. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. Will the Minister guarantee that his government will not sell Landcorp in whole or in part? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the Government has made it clear it won't sell Landcorp, but it does buy and sell farms all the time. In fact, you would expect that uh, in current conditions where it's making significant losses uh, and is facing a, the normal commercial risks that every other farmer is facing uh, and, has relative, and has debt levels it needs to deal with, uh, that it may well sell some farms. Supplementary question. David Seymour. Uh, how do the returns from Landcorp uh, compare with those from another SOE, Air New Zealand? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, Air New Zealand is not, technically not an SOE. It's only half owned by the government. At the moment, it's making very significant returns uh, for a number of reasons. One is that fuel prices are very low. Secondly, it seems to be making uh, good commercial decisions, and thirdly, it has the benefit of the uh, Greens, who are against CO2 emissions, spending <laughs> so much time on our planes. Question number 11, Mika 